Hey guys, Dr. Zaza here. We're going to show you how to set a custom text message sound on your Android 7 phone. Now this is a Pixel that's got pure Android on it, but uh, the steps here should be similar to set this for just about any kind of phone. You want to take your MP3, you want to put it in the correct notifications folder, and then you want to set it as your text message sound, okay? So the first thing we need to do is, we need to go to the internet, find our custom sound that we want to have play, and then save it to our device. So we'll just go out to the internet here. Now I've already searched for the sound that I'm looking for here, and it's called the intercom whistle. There we go. So what I'll do is just do a long press on this, and then I'm gonna go to download link. Okay, that's gonna save our MP3 file into the downloads folder. So the tricky part is moving that from downloads into your notifications folder, okay? You should be able to do this right on your phone if you're able to get to the explore option. If not, you can also plug your phone into your computer, go into the file system that way, move it from downloads into notifications, okay? But hopefully you can do it on your phone like this. So, first thing we're going to do is pull down from the top, we're going to go to settings, and then we're going to find storage. Okay, at the very bottom of storage, you're going to find that explore, and that's what we're looking for. Okay, so when you save something to your phone, it goes into the download folder, but we want it down here in notifications, so let's go into download. There's our MP3 file that we're looking for. We're gonna do a long press on that to select it. Then we're gonna choose our little three dot menu here on the right, and we're gonna say move to. And we're moving it somewhere else on the same phone, so we're just gonna select the phone here. And then we're gonna say, all right, we wanna put that in notifications. And then you have to select move down here at the bottom. Okay, it says moving one file, and it takes you back to the download folder, so you can just kind of verify if you want to go back, look in the notifications folder. Okay, there's our MP3 file. It's in the correct place. Now, how are we going to set that as our text message sound? You'd think maybe, oh, let's go into settings and go to sounds, but uh, it's not there. What you need to do is going to uh, your messages app, and then go to settings. I was already there. Go into your messaging app. Go into your little three dot settings here. Then you can go to notification sound and find the one you just downloaded. However, notice it's not there. You have to restart the phone at this point. Um, I seem to remember that sometimes it shows up and sometimes it doesn't, but it will definitely show up after we do a restart. All right, so let's do that. Okay, our phone is getting restarted here. Um, I'll note you'll want to wait for just a few seconds. If you go in there immediately before the phone gets all the way restarted, you may not see that file that we're looking for. So we'll just give it a second here. Hopefully this should be long enough. All right, so once again, we're going to go into our text message. We're going to go into settings. We're going to go to notification sound. And, yep, it's not there yet. Okay, so let's give it another moment here. Um, the one we're looking for says intercom whistle, and I don't see it there yet. So I'm just going to hit cancel. I'm going to go back to the home screen. All right, we'll give it a few more seconds here. Looks like it's all the way started up. So let's try again. We'll go back to messages. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go ahead and just... I'm going to close that messaging app altogether. Okay, let's go back into messages. Let's go to settings. Let's go to notification sound. There it is, intercom whistle. So you'll just notice it, it does take a minute or two for that to actually show up. There we go. We've got a custom text message sound set on our Android 7.0 phone. Like I said, the steps here are basically the same for just about any phone that you would have, I would think. 
a lot of the manufacturers put, you know, the TouchWiz on the Samsung or some other software on top of there, so it might not be identical. But hopefully, following these steps, you should be able to get a custom text message sound on your phone. Thanks for watching.